hi everyone welcome back again so in this video i'm going to give you a roadmap to learn django in 2024 so this so this roadmap is going to be from beginners to advanced understand so if you're interested if you want to learn django if you're a django enthusiast out there so i'm going to give you the, i'm going to give you the perfect roadmap to learn django in 2024 so without further ado we are getting started right now so number one so the first thing you need to know so right now number one the first thing is you need to know some python understand so because django is built on a python language you get so you need to know some python so i'm going to give you i'm going to i'm going to list out to what extent of python you need to know before you can dive into learning django instead so the first so you are going to learn this python fundamental so number one is you need to know about you need to know how variables and data types works you need to go and learn how variables and data types how they work Number two, you need to go and learn about control flow and, the, and your control flow are simply your if statement, your loops, your for loops, your while loops, your do while loops, understand? So, you need to also learn about functions because you're going to write a lot of functions in Django. You need to learn about functions in Python because in Django, we're also going to write a lot of functions you get. So, and number four, you need to learn about object-oriented programming. Python is mainly an object-oriented programming language. And number five, which is the last but not the least, you need to go and learn about data structure in Python. So, and this data structure simply means you need to go and learn about lists, your dictionaries, your sets, your tuples. In this time, because in Django, you are going to have a lot of dictionaries written you're going to have a lot of you're going to lose it you're going to be using lists a lot instead so the f so i'm going to so right now i recommend five things you need to learn about in python before you learn django number one is learn about you need to learn about variables and data types number two learn about your control flow and that is your if statement and your loops number three learn about functions number four learn about object oriented programming and number five your data structure and those are the lists dictionaries your sets and tuples so number two on the roadmap to learning django you need to learn about these three components which are the html css and javascript instead so as a django developer you are most times going to be building web applications and every web application is built on these three components which are html css and javascript html is the skeleton of every website CSS is what gives it flesh, you understand? And JavaScript is what adds behavior to this skeleton, you understand? So you need to learn about these three components because every 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 website you see out there, every successful website you see out there has HTML, CSS, and JavaScript all embedded in them. So you need to learn about these three components. You don't need to master it. You need to know the basics first and then you can start applying them with Django, you understand? Okay guys, so after you've learned the basics of Python, you've learned some HTML, you've learned some CSS and, you, and, you, and you've also learned some JavaScript. So right now you need to go and learn the basics of Django. So I've told you this video is, is a Django roadmap which consists of the beginners, the intermediate and also the advanced developers, understand? So right now you're going to learn, you're going to learn some Django basics as a beginner, understand? So and these Django basics include how to install Django in this time. So it also includes you understanding how the models.py work in Django. In this time. So the models.py consists of your it, cons it consists of your database tables in this time. So you need to learn about the foreign key relationship. You need to also learn about the one-to-one -one relationship, one-to-one -one relationship. You also need to learn about the many-to-many -many relationship because these three relationships are super super important. They help you determine how structured, how well designed your database is going to be. You need to also learn about views and templates in Django. So instead, you need to also learn about URL routes. And this is the basic. This is this is this, this is under the Django basics you get. So you need to learn about the forms. You need to, you need to know how the Django admin panel works. You need to learn about static files, how it is being configured. You need to also learn about the Django ORM. Understand? So the ORM is all about how you make queries in your Django applications. Understand? So that's it. So I tell you, roadmap one: learn about learn the fundamentals. You have to learn the fundamentals of Python. That's roadmap one: learn Python fundamentals. Two: you need to learn about you need to learn HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Three: you need to learn the basics of Django, which I've already mentioned, and that includes your models. So it includes Django installation, your models of Py 
your views and templates the url routing the forms of pi the admin panel the static files and your django orm understand so roadmap 4 you need to step up your django game a bit understand so you are going to go down to intermediate django concepts you need to know you need to learn about and this includes authentication because every web application out there all have they all have authentication included. So you need to learn about authentication in Django. Learn about how so after you've learned that, you need to also know about middlewares. You understand? Learn and you need to learn how they work and how you can utilize them. You need to also know how to write class-based views. You understand? So by default, everyone out there, I guess, started with function-based views. But as you as you move up in the Django, as you step up your Django game, you also learn how to write class-based views. And number four in the and number four, you also, you also know how to write RESTful APIs. As a Django developer, it's important to know how to write RESTful APIs instead because Django works. Django by default works with the MVT structure, which is the model view template, whereby you can have your front end which which which, which includes your html your css and your javascript in a single django project but with restful apis you can simply build the back end alone and so on how they can build the front end and so on how they can build the front end with react or vue.js and then you can consume your restful apis to build a fully fledged web application and instance so since learn about it is is important to get so uh, under the intermediate level, you need to also learn about testing. You understand? So testing will save you a lot of stress and a lot of, and a lot of time. You understand? So with testing, with you writing text, you don't even need to manually test your apps again. You can just write tests that test your app on that test your app for you to find out any deficiency that, that helps to find out any that helps to find out any leaks in your web application. You understand? So testing is important. You need to learn about testing. And the last button, on, and the last button on the list in the in the intermediate session is deployment. You need to know how you need to be able to deploy your web application to the internet. You understand? After you might have built your web app, you need to know you should be able to know how to deploy. And we have server deployment platforms. We have Jigta Ocean, Railway, Droplets. So I'm going to link down the full playlist on how to deploy your Django app to the cloud in this videos description so we've covered the django basics we've also covered the intermediate django developer roadmap and i want to cover the advanced the advanced roadmap right so right now i have here is django channels instead so with django channels you can be able to build real-time chat applications instead you can be able to implement web sockets in your django application to carry out most times asynchronous activities instead so Django channels is number one under is number one under the advanced level for Django developers, and number two I have the GraphQL. So I recommend you learn how to how to implement GraphQL APIs in your Django applications using libraries like Graphpin. And number three under the advanced developer roadmap you need to learn about how you need to know how to create your own middleware. You need to learn how to create custom middlewares in your django applications that's important that's really important and what i have you also have as an advanced developer you've gained a lot from django you've gained from django you can contribute back to django instead you can contribute to the you can contribute to the django projects you can instead or, or other open source django libraries that's a way to strengthen your django skills for that instead and what I have, you also have microservices instead. So you can explore building some microservices with Django. And the last but not the least is CI CD, which stands for continuous integration and continuous deployment. Instead, so whereby you have to automate deployments. You don't have to always go down to your server to always try to run deployment codes for your application. So with CI CD, you can test your applications you can build them and you can also deploy them everything automated instead so learn about it so if you follow this road map there is no way you won't be the king you won't be you won't, you won't gain absolute mastery in django instead it's not about just learning it's not about learning in, you can't just learn 
as you learn you practice as you learn you build things you build stuff to improve your skills so the roadmap i gave you is for you to learn the fundamentals of python learn html css and javascript learn, you, have to, you have to learn the django basics which i already gave to you i also gave you an intermediate roadmap for django developers and i gave you the advanced roadmap which i just listed out for you right now so once you once you follow this roadmap there is no way the sky won't be your starting point in the Django community. You understand? So thank you for watching and we're gonna see in the next video. See if you gain some value, like the video and also subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much to so meet again.